It is fair to say that the living lab concept and the ecosystem is reasonably simple. A truly transformative living lab should be considered as both an approach and an arena for experimentation of innovation towards sustainable urban development. The arena refers to the geographic core characteristic of a living lab. So that could be a household, a university campus, a neighborhood, a district, or even an entire city. The approach refers to the experiments for socio-technical innovation, together with the four key stakeholder groups, researchers, citizens, companies, and governments. The following characteristics are referred to in the literature on urban living labs, meaning that they are geographically embedded, they are not just virtual platforms, but take place in a real world. They have an element of experimentation and learning, which means that they test new technologies, solutions, and policies in real world environments. And they have an emphasis on participation and user involvement, which refers to the co-creation and engagement of key stakeholders. Another key element that is part of this process is the evaluation and the impact assessment, which refers to the monitoring and the assessment of the impacts of innovations. There are quite a number of examples of living labs and programs that support the implementation of living labs. While the living lab concepts originates from the US, the European Union has been quite proactive in supporting living labs at the city level. Many projects, for example, the Civitas program funded by the EU Research Framework program, brings together lighthouse cities, which means those cities that demonstrate innovations, and follower cities that learn from those. Sharing innovation and transferring technology and knowledge. Some of those examples can be found here. So reflecting on what a living lab is means also what a transformative living lab is not. So it's not just one isolated pilot project or demonstration activity. It is vital that the co-development process is a core part of this. It is not just a feasibility study or a workshop or a dialogue process. Without a geographic element, without the analysis of a real world innovation, we will not have a transformative living lab. The living lab ecosystem and the partnership and co development process brings together civil society, public sector, academia, and the private sector. It provides a platform for collaboration and active intermediation. It provides a space for transformative experimentation. It connects research and makes sure that it's relevant for society. Engaging users and residents ensures that the innovations that are being tested are fit for purpose. It initiates new sustainable urban development solutions that can be shared by a wide coalition. So living labs contain both an arena and an approach. So for this approach, the element of iterative learning is quite significant, which means that experiments are conducted, monitored, and improved reflecting on the co-creation process. This iterative learning means that we would like to improve future products, services, as well as societal structures within the urban environment.